YouTube, this is Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I pack my Henry Bendel train case. It's basically a what's in my bag video, but the Henry Bendel train case version. And I know that there have been, when I've posted videos about this piece before, there were several people that have been interested in it and expressed interest in um, what it fits and getting one and all this. So I I had a hard time finding a train case like this. It was really nice. The Vuitton ones, I think they're called the Nice. Is that right? Um, they are lovely, but for me, they since they only come in monogram as far as I've seen, it doesn't make sense for me that I would have a monogram piece with Vachetta in a bathroom where there's water and it's likely to get wet. It makes a lot more sense to me to have a Safiano leather or something else that's not going to be damaged by the water like this. So I just was in Galveston. I always take this with me when I travel. I'm going to show you what I have in it and here we go. The only thing I think that I don't like about this, maybe two things that I find kind of annoying, is the zipper where you have to zip around the edges of a rectangle. It's a little annoying. And um, then the other thing is when I'm carrying it, it does come with a shoulder strap, which I didn't use this time. I'd love to be able to put this in a suitcase, but because I want it to be standing up, the suitcase is either standing or it's laying down when it's in a car or something. And I, this would either be standing or laying down. So I always keep it separate from my suitcase. So it's just something else to carry. And that's a little annoying. So other than that, let's see what's inside here. There's the contents, as you can see. So it has this little mirror up top, which I don't use because it's really too small to be useful for me. And it has this gusseted elastic posic, the pocket inside. Is gusseted the right word? Ruffled, ruched, not ruffled, whatever that is. It has this pocket. What I keep in there is my comb. So I always comb my hair right after I get out of the shower when it's still wet. And I have one comb that I keep in here permanently and then I have another just like it that I have in my bathroom. Then there are two things. Well, everything else in here I keep in pouches, as you can see, the waterproof pouches, because this train case is lined in silk. I think the Vuitton one is lined in uh, like a microfiber suede kind of material. And since this is silk, I don't want that to get stained. It can get wet and dry, but I want to keep it protected. So that's why I keep these waterproof uh, plastic containers in there. And then my deodorant and my Aveda foaming face wash, those I keep separate, uh, just standing up because they have to stand up and I don't want them laying over and melting and spilling out because most of the trips I take are in the car. But even in an airplane, it can melt and, you know, spill and stuff. So I'd rather just have those standing up in there, even though the bag's not quite as protected since those aren't in waterproof containers. So I have three bags in here. First one is this. It's from Vera Bradley. It's a, like a Vera Bradley pencil pouch. I've had this thing for years, and this is where I've always kept my toothbrush and my toothpaste. So I just keep a tiny little bottle of toothpaste in there. And then I have my electric toothbrush. Here's the inside of the thing. So it's lined in this waterproof material. And uh, I just take the head off so it fits and I keep the little plastic protector thing over the head there so that the bristles stay cleaner. And then I have this pouch that I got for, I don't know, $10 or less at the Saks outlet. And it's this dark color, but you can see through it. And in this, I keep everything I need in the shower. So I have my soap in the soap container, so I can just pull that into the shower. I don't like to use like the hotel soaps because they're so tiny. I like to take my own larger bar. And then I have my Aveda shampoo and conditioner, so that's the Shampure. And what I did was I bought two bottles of these and then when they're out I just refill them from my larger bottles to save um, to not be so wasteful and, and put these in landfills you know so I just refill those 
And then at the bottom there, I have a razor. And the last compartment, little pouch that I have in here is this Bloomingdale's pouch that I ordered from Bloomingdale's around Christmas time. And it's the same on both sides. And part of the reason I love this is because the only Bloomingdale's I've ever been to is in New York City. They don't have one in Houston. And this is the same Bloomingdale's where I got my um, terrine when we were up in New York last year. So that reminds me of that trip and that bag. Inside here, I have this stuff. This is a little um, Burt's Bees face cleanser. I have my little container of cotton swabs. I have my pills, emergency pills. I don't like taking pills, but I have back issues and I need them sometimes. So I always have my pills on me. I have some little wipes. Wait, that way. Some little stain remover and face wipes. And I have a pack of tissues. And I have some Burt's Bees cucumber face wipes. And I have this little spray container of poopery. And I don't think I've ever actually used this. I love the idea of it, but I forget I have it. I got it in New Orleans last year at a cute little shop. And, uh, so I don't even know if it works. Do those work? Do any of you use them? Does it work for you? That'd be interesting to know. So that's what's in that container. So now the train case is empty, but I did want to show you that up in the front here, there's another of those pockets, elastic pockets. And I don't use, I don't use these elastic bands because I don't want to stretch them out. And I don't have anything that fits perfectly in there. So I just have those pouches. And I have other pouches too that sometimes I'll put jewelry in, but this wasn't a long trip. It was just one night. So I just wore the same jewelry both days. And that's it. That's what's in my Henry Bendel train case for an overnight trip. And it's the same thing on longer trips too. Just maybe a few more things like the jewelry or, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. That's, it's pretty much the same thing. All right, thanks for watching. Click the like button if you liked the video for or if you found it helpful, click the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And please click the bell notification icon so you are notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye.